Hi, I'm Joshua Whitfield, and this is my closet in my parents' house. Yes, I'm in a closet talking about wrestling in my parents' house. This is Wrestling Wednesdays. See how I did that like Paul Heyman when he used to point his hand in the air and say things that made it seem like it was bigger than it really was because he's Paul Heyman. I came up with that thing on my own so that makes it important, I hope. I'm doing this because I love wrestling. Why not make wrestling a part of your everyday struggle? At least one day out of the week, you can give wrestling fans what they all love. An opportunity to judge somebody else. I'm your guy. Best way to get people to know you is to debate. Debate about greatest matches of all time. We made it to the top five. If you're still there, thank you. If not, Call the people that are still watching and ask them if it's still worth it and hopefully they'll tell you it is. If they like me. Really, probably shouldn't even have said that. But anyway, number five. Now, I'm pretty sure this is gonna spark a lot of debate because it's a triple threat match. And we've seen over the years some really, really good triple threat matches. More specifically, of course, we're all aware of WrestleMania 20 with Benoit, Sean, and Triple H. And it was really, really hard not to put that match on this list. Trust me, I had many of nights of asking myself, what am I thinking for not putting this match on the list? And I kind of had the same effect about the Cena, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar triple threat match at Royal Rumble. It was really great. But I honestly can't say any other match deserves to be on this list in triple threat history than The Rock versus Kurt Angle versus The Undertaker 2002 Vengeance. Now, some of you may not remember that match, but for those wrestling fans that really, really, really know, that match set the standard for triple threat matches at that time. I mean, think about it, you got The Rock you got Kurt Angle, you got The Undertaker, all in the same match. Three guys that defined the Attitude Era and put WCW in their place like a good boy. And they all came together. It's the first time, too, at least at a pay-per-view, where they all came together and, I mean, come on, man. These three guys were in their prime. I mean, Kurt Angle looked like he was just... Ugh. You know, and The Rock was coming off of a great movie. I think it was The Scorpion King. Shut up. Um, or something to that effect. And he was coming back early, or than he was supposed to, I believe, because that was around the time where Stone Cold had took his ball and went home. More power to him. And he was fighting for the belt against The Undertaker, who he had, had a rivalry with. And remember, The Undertaker was champion going into this. And anytime The Undertaker's champion in any case or scenario, the match is going to be legendary. So I just named all the factors going into this match. And then it was just a great match. This is one of the first times where we actually saw a wrestler use another wrestler's finishing move to try to win the match. I saw uh, uh, Kurt Angle, I believe, did the rock bottom. Uh, Undertaker did the angle slam. Uh, I think The Rock did the choke slam. I mean, unbelievable match. Unbelievable match. And I, I, I mean, I'm sorry. It's, it was just that little bit better than WrestleMania 20. You know, I mean, it just was to me. And like I said, this is me. And and I didn't even see this live. I, I watched it on VHS. For those that don't know what that is. Congratulations. And it was just everything. And then The Rock won. The Rock won. The Rock won. Can't go wrong with that. At least not in my opinion. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Rock fanboy. Sue me. 